I want you to stay. Don't see why you can't. I promise I'll wait as long as I can. Yeah. So I did something kind of silly. Um, I remember before the pandemic, I had all these plans, all these plans of things that I wanted to do. And I think I just kind of forgot about them. But then I remembered recently that one of the things I really wanted to try was I wanted to get dance lessons because I don't I'm sporty, but I'm not graceful. I don't really know how to dance or move my body in that way. So I actually signed up for basic hip hop dancing classes. I can't believe I'm telling you this. It's so embarrassing, but at the same time, it feels so good to do something for yourself as an adult, like something fun and kind of unnecessary. So yeah, I'm gonna try to film while we're there, but um, just be warned, number one, I don't know how to dance at all, so it's going to look very awkward and it might make you feel a little uncomfortable. And then number two, if there are a lot of other people in the class, I probably won't be filming a lot because I don't want to intrude in anybody else's privacy. But yeah, let's do this! I can hear my friends, so they're already here. I'm a little late because I got lost. Hi! Can you believe we're doing this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I thought I saw you drive in. Oh. And then I was like, oh, but that's not the right gate. The oh. gate that I always pass is closed. Yeah. So I was like, huh? So I kept trying to call you. I think my oh. signal is smart. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to stay, don't see why you can't. I promise I'll wait as long as I can, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want you to know you're enough of a man. Let's walk on the beach with our feet in the sand, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You know that your curves are infectious. Is this a curse or a blessing? The way you make me feel got me stressing. Play with my desire until you possessed it. What you want make you ooh ooh was just passing through ooh, but now I don't know what to choose. Come on. Boy. Good boy. You think you got the bigger bud? We're just headed out. Um, he is scheduled for a little grooming, which he doesn't know about yet. He just thinks we're going for a walk. Let's go. What? What? This year for October, I thought I would participate in one of those Inktober challenges. So. There's one by an artist that I particularly like. Her name is Furry Little Peach, Sean Dianthes. She made a prompt list called Peachtober. So I'm going to try to participate in that. And today what I'm gonna be working on is I'm gonna try to prepare a little bit for the prompts. Basically just sketch out some ideas for the words so that on the day itself, it's not too overwhelming trying to think of something to draw. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm about to head out to my second dance class. Um, <laughs> if you saw the footage from the first dance class, you'll see that it didn't go well. It's fine. I just know that I was incredibly awkward. There was one point in the class where the teacher turned around, saw me, and literally had to stifle a laugh. <laughs> like he turned around and he saw me and he went, because <laughs> I'm sure I must have looked so ridiculous. I know I should be embarrassed and I know I shouldn't be broadcasting this in public, but at the same time, I want to live by what I'm always telling you guys, which is if I, I keep saying that art is a skill and it's something that you can learn if you just keep doing it and keep at it and dance is the same way or any skill is the same way and if this is something that I want to do then I need to go through this uncomfortable period where I don't know how to do it and learn how to do it right and just keep at it so yeah that's really one of the main reasons why I'm doing this I just want to live by the things that I've been saying I was also listening to a podcast where they interviewed a uh, free climber, Alex, Alex Hammond. Is that his name? I, I forgot. I'll put his name on the screen because I can't remember right now. But he said something along the lines of, um, like, if you're afraid because you're afraid of failure, even if you fail, uh, you would have learned something along the way and that will have made the whole experience worth it. So I like that. I like that idea that even if I fail and even if I fail spectacularly, at least I will have learned something along the way and that will have made the whole thing worth it. Want you to stay, we'll see why you can. I promise I'll wait as long as I can, yeah. Ooh, ooh. I want you to know you enough of a man. Let's walk on the beach with our feet in the sand, yeah. Good morning guys, I am headed out because my sister is out of town so I am going to be going with her baby, my nephew, for his class so that should be fun. I was, I brought this, ooh, am I overexposed? Step back a little bit. I <laughs> brought this camera down with me because I really wanted to film like one of those fancy YouTuber getting ready sequences but as usual. I took my time getting ready and now I don't really have time to do that. So instead, I'm just going to show you what outfit I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing these. Um, I don't actually know what material this is. It feels very much like a raincoat type material and they're, they're the closest things I have to jogging pants. So I figured they would be appropriate today to play around with a toddler. And then one of my camisole tops that tucks in and, you know, I'm basically wearing things that I don't have to worry about so I can just be free to play with the kid. <laughs> I'm back home and I'm not gonna lie I'm a little exhausted <laughs> uh, I remember when I used to do this with my older nephews and nieces back back 13 years ago or something like that and I used to be able to join the class and run around and do all the activities and all of that but now after just an hour like I feel like I need a nap <laughs> that was that was a lot <laughs>
So it's week three of dance classes. What do I have to report to you about? Mm, in week two, I felt like uh, I, there was some improvement after just one dance session. I Not in the sense that all of a sudden I felt like I could dance and I was amazing, but in the sense that I felt a little less awkward and I felt a little less like I was fighting against my body and the natural way that I move. And I was just kind of going with it and having fun. So that was nice. After my second dance class, I sent a video of me dancing to my niece. And when she saw it, she literally laughed out loud. And I remember telling her, um, why? I thought it was okay. Like, I, I genuinely thought it looked better than the first week. She was like, well, the girl next to you looks good. <laughs> Which, you know what, the honesty, the honesty of children, I really appreciate it. I said I stay, don't know if I can. I hope you'll just wait, don't see why you can, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want you to know you're enough for me, girl. I wanted to thank you for changing my world, yeah. It's day one of the Peachtober prompts. If you've been following me for a really long time, then you'll know that I have tried to join several other drawing challenges in the past. I've done Inktober, I've also done the 100 heads challenge. I always start off these challenges super strong and then kind of lose my steam along the way. But I really wanted to set myself up for success this time, so I took the time to really plan out what I was going to draw for each of the prompts. But when the day itself came, I just didn't feel like drawing what I had planned. And in the end, I want to make something that makes me happy that I want to do, so I just threw my plans out the window and decided to draw what I wanted to draw. The prompt for today was cave. I always joke that my bedroom is kind of like a cave. It's a really quiet place. There were times growing up when I felt like staying in the room for long periods of time really made me feel kind of lonely. But now that I'm all grown up, I've really come to appreciate the silence and the solitude that I get when I'm just staying in my room. Sometimes my mom likes to sleep over and she always says, what is it about your room? The minute I lay down in bed, I get completely knocked out. And it's the same way for me. There's just this silence about the space that is really calming and that I really love. So for today, I made a self-portrait of myself resting in bed.
You know those meditation apps that tell you to imagine light filling up your body from your toes traveling all the way up to your head. It's supposed to fill you with calm or gratitude. That's what I'm trying to convey here. I wanted to draw light filling up my body from my toes, kind of taking away the stresses from the day, recharging me and getting me ready for the next day. It's a bit of a stretch, but the point of these challenges and prompts are just to get you to start and to draw something. So wherever the word leads you, where it takes your mind, it served its purpose as long as it's gotten you to put your pen down onto paper and make something. So this is what I came up with for day one, cave. Mm -hmm. 